dónde van y de dónde vienen, somos de limón y vamos para la playa a pasarla bien con los friends. Y si tú quieres venir, pues ven tú también. Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So I had to re-upload this video. I wanted to give my honest, honest opinion on the product. I used the product twice, so here's where I used it the first time, but I also want to add where I used it a second time and I had a bit of different thoughts. So basically, you're going to do your regular wash day routine, starting off with the shampoo from the main choice line. I'm going to say that this shampoo did a very good job by not drying out my hair strands. It didn't make my hair, my scalp feel dry at all. And it did a very good cleanse. So I honestly can say that it didn't leave my hair super, super tangled where I had to do a massive detangling. I know some shampoos do that. But this was a really, really good shampoo and this is pretty much a 10 out of 10 and it did a very good job as with most of my favorite shampoos do so this is pretty good top of the list so I'm gonna go ahead and rinse that out and once this is already rinsed out during this time I'm going to pretty much detangle a little bit just by hand really really saturate water really really get the shampoo out of my hair then I'm going to go in with the mask. The mask to me is a really, really, really good mask. I think that it's very, very thick. I don't think that it made gave my hair a lot of slip that I expected though. So what I got from it was it did the job, but in terms of slip where it could have detangled my hair pretty, really perfectly, it did not. Meaning... It did not leave my hair slippery to the point where, where I put my hands and my fingers in my hair and I pull out, it went straight through. No. However, it did leave my hair hydrated and moisturized. Now, to the top for that slippery slip as if, you know, if you put oil on your strands, you'll feel that slippery slip. No, I did not feel that. However, my hair was left feeling bouncy. It felt really, really, as in it spring back sprung back anytime I pulled it out it sprung back especially when I rinsed the um, mask off so I don't know I'm gonna put my shower cap on and I'm gonna show you guys exactly what my hair looked like once I rinse it off and then you're gonna see what I'm talking about so here's where you can see that my hair my curls were clumping together. My hair was clumping together really, really good. It gave that spring back, but I did not get that slip. Now, as for anything else about this product, I did add some um, oil to the front of my hair. I always do that with different masks so that I can add some slip and for a little bit more of a conditioning feel. That's pretty much it, but I want to show you guys my hair was really really it felt really really good especially where i could have seen like my curls clumping together i don't know if you can tell to the front but that felt really really good and right there is why i gave a nice little shake so that you guys could have really really seen exactly what i was talking about So now I'm going to go in with the spray leave-in. This spray leave-in to me could have been a bit more thick. 
if it was more like a clean leave-in, I feel like the leave-in may have felt a little bit better and left my hair feeling like sealed, but it didn't. It's just a spray leave-in with which I feel like it goes well in combination with their styler or stylers. And that's why I feel like it's probably made to be lightweight and water-based and so, you know, light. And I... I, I grew an appreciation for that leave-in because I never really buy spray leave-ins and I find that it's hard to make that combination. But thanks for watching guys. Don't forget to like, share and subscribe.